mute, mute.
What's up, guys? VT Fang here, coming at you with an episode of American Truck Simulator. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the uh, Freightliner Coronado mod, and it all starts right now. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Glad to see everybody again. Welcome, welcome. We are going to check out this new mod. It is the Freightliner Coronado, and I'm probably going to call it the Cascadia several times, just so you guys got to forgive me. But, um, yeah, it's a really, really cool little truck. Um, you, it does not have the... Uh, I did have to turn off the uh, advanced trailer coupling to get it to connect. Uh, we went with the Bison paint scheme. I believe it came with the truck. Um, and I went ahead and uh, got the ownable trailer, did the bison paint scheme on it, and the cab itself. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, go into the job market. Let's pick us a job and get on the road, see how this truck is. So, let's see, we're going to be doing cargo market because we have our own trailer. And we're starting in uh, Las Vegas. Or we could go to Prim, too, either way. But let's say, uh, well, there you go. I mean, toys. Maybe not quite that long to start with here. Let's find a different job, but maybe there we go. There we go. Let, let's do some toys over to um, to Farmington, New Mexico. How's that sound, everybody? So let's go ahead and GPS destination. All right. Hop in the truck. Now I have not. Uh oh, why is my track IR not working? Nope. Nope. Why is that not working? Bear with me, guys. i got to figure out why my track IR is not working. I may not have it running. No, I do have it running. Well, it's there. Hmm. Okay. Just bear with me a second here. I may have to exit out. Nope. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to have to exit out of the game and come back in. Stick with me, guys. Sorry. Technical... Uh, a couple little technical issues here. I'll be right back in. Oh, the camera's going to stay on, so just bear with me. Yeah, let's go to American Truck. It may have just needed to refresh. What's up, SES Gamer? Glad you could join me, buddy. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry about earlier today. Yeah, I had a couple of little glitches and something came up that I had to take care of, so I wasn't able to do it. Uh, continue on with that stream, I mean, sorry. That's what I meant. Alright, so let's see here. We've got uh, me. Uh, which one is it? It's this one. Yeah, my DT Fang one is the one for multiplayer, and the Wolfman is the uh, other one. So it is loading. It's going to take a minute here. So yeah, we. Uh, I know it doesn't reflect on the subscriber goal down there, and something weird's happening with my main uh, YouTube page as well. Uh, it says now that I only have 30 subscribers, but we hit 100 today thanks to uh, all the guys over there at the at the um, Infunctional family. Um, definitely, I appreciate everybody subscribing. Big shout out to. Um, <clears throat> Gosh, I'm drawing a blank for some reason. Uh, big shout out to uh, everybody who's subscribed. I'm trying to think of all the names, and I, I'm drawing a blank. There were so many of them. Um, but for sure, Toe God, the Sim God, you guys make sure you go check him out. Um, he is linked in my page somewhere. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not real familiar about the <laughs> how to link everything yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, definitely him, and check out Iceman. Uh, he's over there as well. Check out uh, Country Girl, uh, 20, 30, I can't remember the number, there's a number after her name, uh, she might be in here later on tonight, who knows. Anyway, big shout out to all those guys, uh, big thank you for all the subscriptions, and, uh, yeah, let's see if this, uh, let me hop back in here and see if I get the track IR working now. We will see, we will see. It should work, there's nothing preventing it now. There we go, now it's working. Okay, that's more like it. All right. So now notice the little GPS pops up and the steering wheel slowly goes down. Wow, I feel like I'm sitting up like really high. Let me adjust the seat down. That's the other thing. I haven't adjusted the mirrors yet. This is one of those trucks that uh, 
it's going to be a little bit of trial and error with, because when you first open it, it's not exactly set up quite the way most people want it. Like, the, well, but for sure, like the mirrors. But, you know, then again, it's going to depend on uh, what you have going on, how far, how close you have the seat and all that. Oh, no, that's weird. Huh, that was kind of cool. It adjusted both of them at the same time. So let's do the right side. And, okay, now see, that's different because the small right is separate. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So what happens if I hit the small left? Does the small left move by itself? No. Oh, the small left is doing the front one on the the hood. Okay, so that just looks like they've got a couple of things just cross-wired there, but no big deal. Uh, let me... Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Oops. All right, let's get that brake off, and let's hit the road. I'm going to stick with just the uh, default uh, GPS for now, I think. Hey there, Rebel. How's it going tonight, buddy? Glad you could join in on the stream. Getting some regulars, getting some new people in. That's always good to see. That's awesome. So yeah, not a bad looking truck at all. I like it. I definitely like it. Whoops. As I run the red light. Well, I've got the uh, traffic stuff turned off anyway, so I'm not that worried about it. Not sure why the oil pressure light is on. That's a little strange. All right. Maybe it just has to warm up or something. Ah, was I using the 133 beta uh, SCS gamer? Um, on the multiplayer? I believe so, but that's not... That's not. I mean, there was nothing that was happening because of it being the 133 beta. Um I just had a few things going on in in here at the at the house that that was uh, I was having to take care of. So let's see. Now that's the one. So we got that and take job. And are we going over here? Are we going? Yeah, we're going over here. So not my favorite place to try to park one of these big trailers. you got to pull way up here and get it lined up. Let's see how this looks. Am I close enough yet? Nope, I need to pull up a little bit more. Let's try that. Hey there, Chris Taylor. How's it going, buddy? Are you doing all right tonight? You're up kind of late for you. Well, not really for you. <laughs> You stay up pretty late anyway. You know that problem that you had before when that low boy disappeared and doing it? It's doing that with cargo market in 132. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, that was weird that that low boy just disappeared and, uh, the other night. I'm not sure what caused it. Now, I do know why I couldn't connect to it, though, because I forgot to hit the little uh, accept job thing. So I was trying to connect to the trailer without accepting the job first. So that was my fault. But the uh, after I uh, went back into the job market, it, like, disappeared. And that wasn't my fault. So I don't know what was going on with that. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Doing good, buddy. I, uh... I think, unless I'll have to check again, I hit my 100th subscriber today. Um, it's been acting kind of weird, but uh, had a, I've had a stream with a bunch of great folks. And I'll uh, I let you join me one time. And I, I, Anyway, I'll tell you all about them offline. Sorry, I'm trying to get the truck back in here. And uh, but no, it's a community. It's a, a great bunch of guys over there. The, the the family, is what they call it. And they're all a bunch of streamers as well. And they are definitely all about helping out. So all 
right there, SES Gamer. That's, hey, no problem, buddy. I'm just glad you stopped by and said hey. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to get on a little earlier next time. I do apologize because I know a lot of you guys stay up really, really late to see these streams. and It's just uh, with work right around the corner, I definitely can't stay up too terribly late. And also, I can't get started too terribly early because I kind of have to get ready for the day tomorrow. So, all right, so we should be. That should do it there. But nope, it's not it. All right, what am I doing wrong here? 2.33 in the morning, too. Yeah, but, I mean, that's kind of your normal, Chris. I mean, you know, you stay up late. We've had many late nights as far as, you know, doing uh, tandem runs and all that kind of stuff, so. Why is this not lining up? Am I too far back? Is that the problem? Yeah, that's it. Okay, I was too far back. Okay, let's turn the engine off. And go ahead and hit OK. While that's loading. Guys, if you are enjoying the stream tonight, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button there. That would help me out a lot. Also, the... Um, uh, you know, don't forget to like the page as well. Uh, that always helps out. Or like the video. Uh, YouTube likes the thumbs up for sure um, and also if you click the subscribe button make sure you also uh, hit the notification button if you would like to be notified next time that I am streaming live I uh, will be doing this uh, quite a bit I'll be doing it just about every night so I'm having a ball with it it's a lot of fun so all right let's get back in the truck here Not a very loud truck. Uh, there we go. Something caused the W900 to disappear from the Kenworth dealer. Really? Huh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm in the. I'm thinking the wrong game, uh, Martin. I apologize about that. I'm thinking, uh, no, I haven't updated this one to the uh, the beta yet, um, so that may be why. Yeah, the other night I haven't up this one. I haven't updated to the beta. The European truck simulator I have, but not this one. I don't think. So, okay, so we're going to be taking a left. Anybody coming that way? Nope. left again it drives pretty well it's nice and smooth um, maybe we'll get some night driving too because the uh, the dashboard lights up really nice from what I remember seeing or is that the other truck then you know what that may be a different one that I'm thinking about too I've looked at so many mods lately it's it's uh, uh, no, no, this is this isn't the Ken. This is the uh, Freightliner, um, the Freightliner uh, Coronado. Is what this one's called. So uh, I, I like the I like the front uh, the front end of it. It looks pretty cool. Now there's not a ton of options that you can change out on it, um, but it's still pretty cool. I like the looks of it, and you know, if you get a good-looking truck, you don't necessarily have to change out a lot of options on it if it drives well. Uh, it's got lights on it, which is good. Uh, nice little Jake brake sound there. Yeah, I'm digging it. I am definitely digging it. I downloaded the um, what's the other one? The for European truck that I'm having a hard time with the F10. Not the F, not the F14 Vol Volvo, the older Volvo, but the F10. Uh, I had trouble with it before trying to get it installed. Whoop, got a car right there. Is he gonna go past me? Yeah, there he is. All right, let me get over here because I just about missed that turn. 
yeah, we're just going to check it out and make a few deliveries and see how it goes. Just have a little fun for a few hours here. Yeah, I ended up, uh, Chris, I ended up doing like a three-hour stream last night. By the time it was over, I was just done. My voice was gone. <laughs> it got kind of busy last night, so. But it was fun. You know, you can't complain. When you're having fun, definitely. All right, we are taking a left and a right. Looks like we're getting on. Not sure which highway we're getting on. Why did that disappear? I don't, I don't remember hitting that. There. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Hope everybody had a good Sunday. I did. Uh, we uh, Last night we made some Christmas cookies. That was a lot of fun. They're good, too. And then today my son uh, and my wife made some cranberry bars. Those are really good, too. Uh, yeah, Martin, I actually was on earlier uh, with some other streamers over at the uh, Infunctional Family. Um, they were doing a live stream, invited me to come along, so I did. And um, I really should have taken more time, though, to set up for it because I was not ready. And uh, that's why I had to, that's why the, if you look back, the video is only about 25 minutes long. I, I really just wasn't prepared. I just thought I'd try to hop on and see how things went. All right, heading out on 93. Uh, do I use one monitor for streaming? Yes. Uh, when I'm playing pretty much, well, I, I, let me put it this way. I use one monitor when I'm streaming this game. I'm experimenting a little bit with using three monitors uh, with a couple of other games like some of the racing games and stuff uh, just to get a slightly wider view uh, to where it doesn't fill up the entire screen um, and then I can put like the chat window at the bottom and things like that not really sure how I want to arrange it yet um, but it's harder to, to operate OBS studio uh, I've got the remote um, for a tablet uh, for OBS or uh, for um, Streamlabs OBS, and uh, you know you can change scenes and stuff by at the push of a button on it, which is really cool. But uh, problem with playing triple screen is you can't see if your stream is running or not for sure. Um, I mean, I guess I could bring it up on a laptop next to me, but you get that just gets to be too much on the on the desk really. Hey there, Country Girl 45, how's it going? Oops. Glad you could join me tonight. I had fun earlier. Sorry I had to drop out unexpectedly there. You know, I didn't check the transmission. I bet this thing doesn't ha it doesn't look like it has a automatic retarder or anything. Let's see if it picks back up at 55 here. It says cruise control is on 55. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why that check, uh, the oil light is on. That's a little weird. Does it have anything to do with the regular lights? Nope. Hmm. Well, that's one thing I would recommend them changing. I mean, I like everything else, but that, uh, the oil light's kind of bothersome. I do like the GPS though that pops out of the uh, the little uh, radio deck there on the dashboard. That's kind of neat. All right, Chris Taylor. So we'll see you, buddy. You uh, take care. Glad you could stop by for just a minute and say hello. Okay, you're gonna watch the rest of the stream tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I will. Definitely, um, Country Girl, for sure. I'll be able to 
do it again. I just, I, like I was saying to Chris a few minutes ago, I just wasn't really, I, I didn't take enough time and prepare for to be streaming <laughs> while I was doing it, and I didn't realize that uh, I was going to have to do some things around the house as well. So I had to cut it short. But it's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. So here's the truck. A really good looking truck. I don't know. It, it came with this paint scheme. Whoops. I need to get back in here before I have a wreck. Um, it came with the Bison uh, Transport paint scheme as one of the free options. Uh, so I went ahead. It also uh, installs it for your owned trailers. So that was kind of neat. I wasn't really expecting that. So it did kind of two things. It gave you the truck. It gave you a bunch of free paint jobs. And it, uh, it gave you that... Um, trailer scan as well so <clears throat> do, 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 uh, give me just a second sorry guys give me just a second here I had something pop up on the screen that I need to get rid of there we go yeah, for some reason, and uh, Country Girl, maybe you can answer this for me. When you do uh, your stream of American Truck, do you have it set up as a game capture or a screen capture? Because 95% of the time, I do mine as game captures, but for some reason, if I do this game as a game capture with Streamlabs OBS, it won't show, like this way station sign right there, the green one that just passed, it shows up completely blacked out. And I, I cannot for the life of me figure out why. I thought it may have something to do with the streaming or something. As maybe the output or I have no clue what could be causing that. It works fine this way, but it doesn't work the other way. And uh, but the other thing that's kind of funny is Euro Truck doesn't do it. It's only this one. So I can't, <laughs> it makes no sense to me why it would be doing that. Yeah, that sounds from the outside. That's not bad. Oops. I'm getting a little close to that truck there. Yeah, I'm happy with this little mod so far. This this is alright. Hmm, yeah, that's what I thought. I wonder if it's something... Oh, that was close. All right, Chris, good night. We'll see you later. You take care, buddy. So you do it as a game capture as well. Yeah, I... Uh, and it was working before. I don't understand... I mean, unless something... I can't think of what may have gotten changed... To change it i've tried everything i've tried every graphical setting encoder settings everything and it just it it's glitching out on me now maybe there was some update that i have no control over that was done or something who knows anyway it works this way so i'm not you know it's a workaround but the only thing i don't like is i can't do an alt tab and you know have anything on my desktop really or it's gonna <laughs> Ooh, i need to adjust that mirror that mirror is way off the one over here on the right. I wonder if this is actually the hood right. If it actually... Cor yes, it does correspond to that. Man, that is like pointing way out there. Oh, that one's not going to line up for me. So why are you going mm. All right. People see you. Ah. I could all pause it, so... All right, guys, hang on just a second. I will be right back.
Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Let's see. And... Okay, under the bridge and take a left. Jeez. Lost track of where I was there. And my track car is back on now. Alright, so really the only two things that I've seen with this mod that really need to be, well, three things that need to be ironed out look like the uh, right front mirror is a little bit off uh, for the, the hood mirror. The <clears throat> um, that check of oil light is extremely annoying. And then the other thing would be, uh, what was the other thing? Now I've lost track. I've lost train of thought again. Must be getting old. There we go. Oh, the advanced trailer coupling. That's what it was. I want to say like a 347 or something like that in it. That number may not be right, but. Way. Oh, it looks like we're chopping a little on this. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. Well, the engine brake or not engine brake, the retarder did just work, so it's doing something. Maybe it's just the uh, what do you call it? The tolerance for the, the cruise control. I might have to check on how I have that set. But yeah, a pretty cool looking radio. It's got the Amer whoop. Let me try to get it on the straightaway here. Whoops, I hit something. What did I hit? Not sure what that was. Must have been that car. Um, neat little background back there. Uh, where the the bed is and the the table. Uh, got a clock up here in the top right uh, where the rearview mirror for a car would be. Uh, right in the center up there. That's kind of neat. I didn't really try it. You know, what I didn't try is seeing if I could put in uh, any other, like, uh, add-on interior stuff from, you know, like the SIC, uh, the SISL uh, interior package to see if any of that would work. Uh, I have not tried that yet. But. Do, 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 do. Now it's got it's got two different interiors uh, interior schemes to it. This one probably looks the best out of the two. The other one is a light color, kind of the same wood grain to it, but like a lighter uh, beach color. Uh, Paramedic gamer, hey there, how you doing, buddy? Glad you could join me tonight. We are in a new mod that I well it may not be new, but it's new to me. A new mod for the Freightliner Coronado. Just testing it out and seeing what it's all about. So far, I'm liking it. I mean, there's a few things it could improve on, but uh, it's not a bad little mod. I'm, I'm digging it. Well, we got quite the hill going here. And 6.13 p.m., so that means it's going to be getting dark soon, or at least the sun will go down. It's not going to be pitch dark, of course. Uh, no English only, please. English only in chat. Am I going 55? I'm going to bump it up to 65. See if I can cruise at 65. Should be able to. Is 
So we're carrying toys, I know. How much, uh, eh, 30,000 pounds, so what is that, 15 tons, roughly? And toys are made out of plastic, mostly, anyway, so. Let's go ahead and turn the headlights back on, take a look. See, now that sounds good. That's got a nice hum to it. screenshot here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I've really gotten into taking screenshots and trying to make decent looking uh, thumbnails for the for the YouTube uh, video notifications and stuff. That's a lot of fun actually. Where are we? I don't even know where we are on the map yet. And we've got... Uh, I need to bring my... Okay, so 6 hours, 44 minutes, 320 some odd miles. <clears throat> I wonder if you can turn off that... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I was trying to turn off that interior map just to see if I could. Uh, okay, so we are coming up on Flagstaff, it looks like. This is going to be our next major city. I'm not doing too bad in the little truck here. It's moving on along. It is not struggling at all, I will give it that. We'll have to see how it does with a heavy haul. I'll have to check it out in the actual, um, in the actual, what do you call it, the shop to, or not shop, in the, in, when you get the job market, you know, you can check to see if it um, will pull the heavy cargo or not. I didn't really check that very much. I just went to a slightly larger engine, and uh, what else did I do? I didn't do too much. This is pretty much the base standard truck. I didn't add a whole lot to it on the outside or anything. I did add the bumper guides, because I do like the bumper guides, the looks of them. So uh, how how is the sound quality? Is it okay? Is the is the truck too loud? The interior volume, the game volume, it looks a little higher than I normally have it. But as long as you guys think it's okay, I'll just leave it. If somebody could let me know. on Albuquerque. Should have made that left turn at Albuquerque. But, ooh, yeah, I don't want to get too fast there. Yeah, I was playing around with the uh, physics of the... Um, on Euro Truck Simulator for their latest release, uh, where you can actually uh, stiffen the suspension, make the uh, the roll of the or the physics in the truck a little bit more realistic. So, in other words, if you know you turn the wheel sharply, the truck really leans to one side or the other a lot more than it did before. Makes it feel like a like you're driving a more realistic truck so you know you wouldn't hit a corner in a real truck going 60 miles an hour going around a sharp corner because it would flip over on you um, so it's an option that you can adjust a couple of settings using the console or I think you can edit the uh, config dot whatever it is in the profile that folder uh, or that file I mean and um, you can change them in there. I just did it through the console though, because it's just easier. Mm 
and I didn't really get out on the road too much with it. I was I was going to test it out a little bit more, and then I decided to get on this since I just have downloaded this mod and wanted to try it out and show it to you guys. Drama 101 Gaming, how's it going? Glad you could join tonight. You doing alright tonight? I'm doing real well. Um, I had a really good day. Uh, having a good stream so far. And talking to some some old old regulars and some new people. So yeah, it's going good. I'm having a lot of fun. Got a rough week ahead at work though, so I'm not looking forward to that. But um, other than that, trying to enjoy myself on the stream, checking out a new truck. Checking out the Freightliner Coronado. Decent little truck. I'm liking it. I don't love the trailer, but... I mean, you can paint the truck, however. It actually comes with quite a few paint jobs. It comes with, like, a, like a, I think a DHL. It comes with a UPS. actually comes with a couple of UPS uh, paint jobs. I didn't see FedEx, I didn't see Swift, I don't think I saw Walmart, so, you know, some of the, the basics are not there, but... I'll drop this down just a little, it seems like we're... Yeah, we'll drop it down to 60, even though the speed limit's 75. And it is starting to get dark. Let's see, we got, yeah, we got our brights, so they do work. And the horn. Not the worst horn I've heard. Um, I did have to remap the button, though, because that is not the air horn. That is just the regular horn, uh, even though it is technically an air horn sound. So maybe they need to redo that one and make that the actual air horn. Uh, I did not see... A place that you can change that uh, in the mod in the shop like you normally you know you can uh, add the horn adapter and put whatever you want on there but I did not see that in this one but I may have just missed it yeah I'm definitely always looking for a good uh, a good new truck mod and this one's actually running pretty well some of them you put on it makes the game start to chop a little bit um, but this one's running pretty smooth. And the graphic settings are, I think, all on high except for the mirrors. I usually don't do the mirrors on high. Um, I usually leave those on medium on all the settings on the mirrors because uh, that will cause a good bit of the choppiness uh, that sometimes you see. The stuttering frames and whatnot. So what you up to tonight, Drama 101? You been you been gaming today? You been streaming? What what you what, what you been doing?
Uh, gaming as usual. What you been playing? Plane 11, I've got that one. Um, I stopped playing it though because uh, my uh, yoke stopped working. Hey Roxana, how you doing? Glad you could join me again tonight. I know you stopped in last night when I was doing the farm sim stream and uh, had to had to leave there. But uh, welcome back. Glad you can make it. We're just doing a bit of driving tonight in the old American Truck Simulator. Checking out a new truck. Good, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good myself. Having a good day, having a good stream tonight. <clears throat> 831 hours you have been playing uh, X Plane. Good grief. Where are we going, Roxanne? We are going. Actually, that's a good question. I forgot where we're going. We are going to Farmington. And I think that is. Actually, I don't even know where Farmington is. Um, Farmington is in... Is it in... Ah, I gotta look now, sorry. Uh, Farmington... Uh, yeah, New Mexico. Farmington, New Mexico, okay. Because I think... I was getting confused, because I think there's a Farmington, North Dakota as well. And I do have the... Uh, the coast-to-coast -coast map, so... <laughs> Wow, drama. That's that's impressive. Yeah, I used to. Um, I used to. Uh, oh, are you really? Um, I. You know what? I can. If you're gonna buy it, um, make sure you know, and we can we can all help you out too. Uh, you know, um, I would recommend getting at least a like a, a a controller that's compatible, because driving with a keyboard and mouse can get a little tricky sometimes. Um, but it does work with like a PlayStation controller. You can plug it directly in. Uh, it works with an Xbox controller. You can plug that directly in, or you can get a wheel. Um, I highly recommend getting a wheel. Uh, I got the the one that actually works with PlayStation 4. Oh, you do have a steering wheel. Okay. There you go. What kind do you have? All right. Yes, I'm running the red lights. <laughs> Oh, here's here's one of my favorite little stores on the right here. It's the uh, the good old donut with all the the lit up sprinkles. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty funny. Oh, okay, a G29. Yep, that's what I've got. That's exactly what I'm using. It's a good wheel. It really is for the price. You know, and and I can honestly say this, Logitech. I've never had a problem with anything but Logitech. Logitech makes some decent stuff. I've got a Logitech keyboard. I've got a uh, well. I used to have a Logitech mouse, but now I've got a Razer mouse, and uh, also these Razer headphones, um, the gaming headset, which I've been thoroughly impressed with it too. Uh, it, you know, the I, I thought several times about having to get a different microphone, but listening to the streams back, the sound quality is not that bad. I mean, it's really pretty good, and they're uh, you know they're cordless, so that helps out. Um, a lot and it, they definitely hold the charge I charge these I can do two like I can do at least two three hour streams uh, with absolutely no problem as far as having to recharge them and I mean that's not just sound coming to them that's me talking as well and sending sound back out so pretty cool Yeah, yeah, I used to have um, the uh, Logitech, uh, one of the Logitech mouses. I can't remember which one it was, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're good stuff. I've got the uh, keyboard. It's just a, it's more of a flat keyboard. It kind of, it lights up, you know, in the background. It doesn't light up colors. It just lights lights up in, in white. Hey, Fernando. Fernando Valesco. Val, Val, I know how to say your name. 
Velasquez. Velasquez. Jeez. Sorry about that. I butchered your name. How you doing tonight, buddy? Glad to see you back. Uh, do I have all the DLCs? Yes, I do. Um, I actually have all the DLCs for European Truck Simulator 2. Oh, yours lights up in colors? Yeah, I, I, I kind of do. Want, my son's got one that lights up like that. I kinda, I'm kind of getting jealous. <laughs> um, my headphones will do it if I had it turned on. Now, I do have the lights uh, on the headphones turned off just to save power. But uh, they'll do the, the what they call spectrum cycling. What's up, Dad? Welcome back, buddy. I was wondering if you were going to be in tonight. Yeah, getting some of the old regulars back in. That's awesome. I think it's awesome that I'm actually getting regulars. That That's pretty cool. So, guys, everybody that subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys have made my week, for sure, made my month. Um and it really helped out a lot we actually hit i'll have to check but we actually hit 100 subscribers today and we just broke our 50 subscriber goal so i mean it, it's crazy oh you were on a date then <laughs> how'd that go and remember this is a pg stream so don't go into too much detail am I doing today good or bad I'm good buddy I'm good uh, I don't have too many bad days unless I'm not feeling well which that doesn't happen very often either so now I'm having a good day how about you you doing all right oh your day went awesome that's cool awesome uh, actually that's not correct if you look on the web page it says 32 but that's not right if I look in my uh, like under my my page it shows a hundred I, I have no clue why that changed um, it sh and it reflected the full 100 earlier and then I went back in like half an hour later and it said 32 and I, I don't and my subscriber goal says 66 so I <laughs> I, I don't know I, I don't know if YouTube's doing something weird yeah exactly um, it, it, sh it reflected the 100 which was actually correct at least I think it was and then now it's showing 32 so I don't know what YouTube's doing and uh, Fernando unless uh, uh, unless YouTube really screwed things up I know where it whoop. we are um, I got like a ton of subscriptions uh, earlier today thanks to the guys over at the end family um, no, nothing, nothing bad happened. I, I think either they didn't know how to react to me getting that many subscriptions like all at once, or I, I don't know. I have no clue unless they had to take them and review them or something. I, yeah, I don't know. But uh, we actually did get a ton of subscriptions uh, during that last stream, and I've had several before. So right now I'm in India. Oh, you're in India. Okay, did. Wow. Uh, why aren't I playing multiplayer? Well, I just wanted to try out this new mod, and you know, as a, as you know, multiplayer you can't do mods. Um, and with multiplayer, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, it, it's fun, but sometimes I like to just play the regular one because uh, I can have. Uh, well, like uh, more more of the map. I've got a coast to coast mod, uh, and I can play like I can drive a whole lot further uh, across the U.S. and stuff. Um, now I do play quite a bit more uh, multiplayer on Euro Truck uh, because that uh, number one it's a lot busier, and uh, you know. Uh, can I play multiplayer tomorrow? Um, maybe. It, it depends. Uh, it depends on how tomorrow goes uh, with my job. So I can't guarantee. That, see, this is. I know you guys are kind of getting used to me being on every night, but um, I'm not going to be able to guarantee, especially this week. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be on every night because uh, it's kind of the end of the year and we've got a lot of meetings and things. So. Um, 
it just depends. Um, I'll try to sneak on for maybe not as long as I'm normally on, but I'll try to sneak on for a little bit for you guys and see how that goes. Um, but like I said, if I if I for whatever reason if I'm not on, you know, please 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 just bear with me. Don't get mad at me because uh, you know my actual real job comes first. So. What do I do at my job? I am a help desk software technician um, for a specific type of software. Um, so what happens is, you know, somebody has a problem with their software or they don't know how to do something in it. Uh, they call us. I call them back and uh, get into their computer and fix it for them. And um, or train them on. I can also, you know. I also do a fair bit of training on uh, explaining to them how the program works and whatnot. Let's see. All right, we are here, and we are at Eddie's. I swear this looks like a restaurant more than a... <laughs> what you call it? All right, let's see. Now, this may be one of these that I've got to back into. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what this is. I think I hit one of these before. Yep. I know what this is. This is not going to be a fun one to park. Oops. Did I hit it? No, I didn't hit it. Oh, I'm on the curb. It kind of felt like I hit it for a minute. Whoa, man, that thing took off in reverse. All right, now that was a little weird. You thought I was a teacher? <laughs> Uh, no. No, I'm not a teacher. Why would you think I'm a teacher, uh, Fernando? I mean, I guess essentially I'm kind of a teacher as far as one, you know, for computer software. In a way that's, you know, being a training people how to do it is teaching them how to do it. So, but that's not what I do full time. Most of the time I am... Uh, I mean, that's only a, a small part of my job. My, the other part of my job actually is more um, troubleshooting and figuring out problems and stuff like that. So, and that, you know, requires a basic knowledge of computers and windows and all that stuff. So networking and, and drivers and, you know, all the standard good computer stuff. All right, I know I'm, like, butchering this back up, too. This is horrible. Yeah, this is not a fun place to try to park. At all. Let's see. Just because you can't get a lot of movement to get it parked. I'm going to hit it before I can pull out too much. Yep. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Now... you guys what do you guys do for a living just out of curiosity and you don't have to be too specific just kind of the field of work that you're in yeah I like to yeah there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys simply for the fact that you know there's crazy people out there on the internet <laughs> Oh, so you're a student. Um, what uh, what year are you in there, uh, Roxana? I'm assuming you're a student in college. Or maybe not. I have no idea. Okay, so third year. What are you studying? Oh, psychology. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. Well, that's awesome. So you definitely know that there is uh, crazy people out there on the internet. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke. Oh, come on. Alright guys, I'm I'm skipping the parking on that one. I, I normally don't do that, but that is one of the hardest spots to get into that I've ever tried to get into, so <clears throat> man, a lot of military people here time to leave India and never come back. Oh yeah, dead? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the world, that's for sure, but uh Yeah, we're gonna try to that's another thing that I don't really want to get to in, into on the channel is uh, politics and religion and all that. So let's uh, we'll just stick with having fun, entertaining each other and, uh, you know, being nice and all that kind of stuff. Not saying anything that you did wrong, dead by any means. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, one question will lead to another. So we don't want to get into all that stuff, please. Appreciate it. All right, so bison transport. Oh, what was I going to check? I was going to check the... I was going to check the engine, but I don't really want to do that right now. Uh, well. All right, well, let me ask you guys this. Do you want to see this truck some more, or would you like to see... Let me show you some of the other trucks that I've got, and then you can tell me. Uh, I've got the... This is the Freightliner FLD. That's the one that I've driven before. Um, once it pops back up, this one. I've driven this one before. This one's a fun one to drive. Uh, what's the image on the bottom left of the screen? That is a telemetry uh, module. If you'll watch it while I'm driving, it will uh, show you the speedometer and the um, the tachometer, which is the RPMs, the fuel, and then it's got some information on the um, on the uh, what you call it the um, the very bottom down there it's got like what you're hauling how much it is how heavy it is i mean and so on so anyway uh there's this one which is the freightliner fld 120 um i've got my favorite is the flb freightliner which is this one uh, I'm not real happy with that paint job, but this is one of my favorite ones to drive. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, normally, I have it painted as... Where is it? Is it this? No, it's... No. That. That's normally the paint job that I go with on this one, but I'm not going to pay 22000 again on it. Um, so we'll just leave it at the dollar paint job. Uh, let's see. And then we've got... What else do we have? We've got the Mac R. I do like this little truck too. This is definitely, I like taking this one to pick up uh, logging runs. This just looks like an old logging truck to me. Uh, it's got a metallic paint job on it. I added the log rack. Um, interior wise, um, it's pretty cool. Very Got a very vintage feel to it. Um, I do enjoy this one. Uh, and then, let's see. Yeah, man, I get to Freightliner. My bad for the last... Uh, no, th no problem, buddy. No problem at all. Uh, this one is cool. Do you mean the... Uh, it's still on the Mac? I apologize, Roxana, there. There's a little bit of a delay, but you like this one? The, uh, the, the, the older Mac truck here? Whoops. This one? Alright, we can, we'll definitely come back to this one in just a second. I do want to show you guys the other ones. Um, we got the Mac Anthem, which I have driven that on stream before. That one's pretty good. I mean, it, it looks really good. Um, it dry. I like, I really do like the dash on it. It's completely different than any of the other ones that I've seen. It lights up. This one's a really nice newer truck. Um, and then we've got, let's see, now, like I said, my favorite is probably the FLB here, but I do like, uh, this is the Viper Peterbilt Custom 379-389. Uh, 
This one is so configurable, it's it's insane. Um, it's got a great sounding engine, but okay, now you guys know normally on a truck how many little dots, how many circles that you get, you know, to uh, to change things on it. Watch this. It actually takes about five seconds before it loads it. Look at all these dots. I mean, every single thing on here you can change. It, it is insane. You can make it very, very custom. It comes with different chassis, uh, different, uh, you know, sleeper tops, like five or six different ones. Yeah, it is insane how customizable this one is. Um, this is, I've driven this one to death though, so that's why I'm not really doing it right now, but that one's a lot of fun. Uh, now this is a new one, the 9400i, the International. Um, I tried this out, um, Chris, not Chris Taylor, Chris, uh, I can't remember his last name, and I do apologize, Chris, if you're watching. Um, he sent me the link to this one, and uh, I tested it out a little bit earlier today. It's, it's okay. It's, it, uh, there's a couple of things that I would recommend on it. Um, for instance, uh, I mean, the model itself is really good, I like, and I really like the, uh, the beacon lights up top here. Uh, the one thing that I do wish it had um, would be the ability to add side running lights because it does not have any. Um, and then the, let's see, what else is the other? Uh, I do, I do like the, the case back here in chain, the headache rack. Um, I don't know, it's just, I mean, you can tell that it's definitely a work in progress, which, I mean, it's awesome because the models are, are very well done. Um, just a couple of little, you know, things like the, like you click here on the, uh, the, where normally you would do the, the visor here and it's, uh, these curtains but if you go to, if you click on one of them nothing changes so maybe that's still in the works uh, you can't hang anything from the inside if I remember correctly like uh, if you go up to here to the hanging items oh yeah you can I'm sorry well it says you can but then you click on it and nothing happens so it's okay um, I'll, I'll probably drive this one in a different episode. I, I kind of want to drive it when he's on, um, just because he sent it to me. So, anyway, let's go. I tell you what, since uh, Roxanne I like this one also, let's go to the Mac R and let's let's do a couple of couple with this. Um, now this is going to dismiss. <clears throat> excuse me. This is going to dismiss my trailer, and it will actually take us back to wherever the garage was for it but <coughs> we'll give this one a shot also yeah and we are all the way back into Tucson so okay so let's see here it's raining uh, pretty simplistic looking but uh, you know I added I added all those lights down at the bottom, and the reason I put uh, all those down there is because it is a logging style truck that I was trying to go for. And you know, you're driving on back roads. Hey, Tyson Fields, how's it going there, buddy? How you doing tonight? Glad you could join. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's this is that one. I kind of like, uh, I, I like the simplicity of the inside. I really do. Where there's not like a ton of, you know, just gauges everywhere. I mean, this is actually, you know, what it was like for these trucks back in the, uh, I would guess this truck's probably in the 70s, maybe maybe late 60s, early 70s. And so, all right, so let's find us a job here. Uh, job market. Now, this time I can you go to, like, external contracts or whatever. I can haul just about anything with this one because I'm not using the, the trailer. Um, now, I, I don't think I can do heavy haul with it. Let me just see what it says here, if I say that. Well, actually, it's not too bad on the heavy haul front. It's almost up there. Um, let me see, let me see what else we have, though, before I commit to a heavy haul. I think we'll have problems with hills on a heavy haul. <laughs> yeah, we can probably do, like, a road roller or a... Uh, 
let's see, we've got a road roller. And I don't want to do that cable wheel. I've done a few of those. We could do some large tubes. There's another road roller. We could do a, a tanker of gasoline. Well, let's see where some of this stuff is going here. Kind of want to start working our way over toward... Well, actually, that's a pretty decent one, but... Let's see... Uh, that goes to the Grand Canyon. You know what? That's got a few little twisty roads. Why don't we go? Let's do this one. We'll see how this one goes. And guys, if you are enjoying the stream tonight, make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, also, if you don't mind, you can uh, give me a th if you would give me a thumbs up on the video. That would be awesome. Um, and if you do decide to subscribe tonight, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified next time I am doing a live stream. And so far, I've been doing them about once, well, once every night. So I've um, been trying to keep myself busy doing streaming and having a, having a ball with it. So, All right, so we are going to go and... Now, I, I added the, the compass right there in the middle, uh, kind of out of place, but... I don't know. I, I used to have one of those in one of my first cars, so I kind of left it in there. Just to remind me of, you know, when you get that first car, what that feels like. All right, so. Let's see. Actually, let me, I do need to check one button real quick, and that's the horn setting. I think this one actually has an air horn. Uh, let's see, keys, air horn, horn, air horn, should be that one. All right, let's try that. Eh, I could be wrong, actually, but anyway, whatever, we'll find out. <laughs> That's right, it's got the, uh, the locomotive horn. Oh, and now this is what's cool. You see how the interior is flashing? That's not a mistake. If you look back at the, the logging rack, if you look out the mirror here, you see the blinker on the outside. It's reflecting through the mirror into the cab of the truck. I thought that was really pretty cool. All here, you can see it a little bit better out there. It's got the red blinker out there, but it's got the amber blinkers here, so... can't see out to the left there too well. These mirrors are huge. So back on the road. Wow, we got 12 people in here. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Welcome to everybody who is just now joining the stream. Glad to have you with me. Hope everybody is having a good Sunday night. Getting ready for work tomorrow if you are going to be working. I am in my happy place. I'm playing American Truck Simulator and streaming at the same time, so... Whoa, boy, whoa, boy, whoa, boy, whoa, yeah. Oh, I barely tapped him. All right, he moved. Oh, okay, is that what it is? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Togod, Togod is definitely a good guy. I, I, I am glad that I... Uh, that he happened to cross my stream a couple of nights ago, and then, uh, yeah, he's really helped out already. Um, definitely helped me with a lot of the subscriptions, so big hats off to him, for sure, and all the people who subscribed as well. Oh, I hate this little bitty... Uh, this is hard to get through. I'll have to, when I come back down, I'll have to go out the other way with just the twisty road and not the construction things because I'll never make it back through there with a trailer on the end of it. Yeah, so you guys definitely go check out uh, Togod the Sim God uh, for sure. Look him up on uh, YouTube. He, he also streams on Twitch as well. 
Um, not sure, and this is just me not knowing. I'm not sure if he has a Facebook page or not. Um, but yeah, check him out. Give him some love. Show him uh, that he's appreciated as well. I know I did. Oops. Let's back on up there. Now I do have uh, what it, the reason my lights are so bright. I do have a mod on here that uh, makes the reverse lights a lot brighter. And that's one of those that I could not live without anymore because most of the time when I'm playing, I do this and I look through the mirrors. And the problem is when, oh, speaking of mirrors, I kind of need to adjust that one. Um, the problem is that when you're backing up, you, a lot of times you cannot see the trailer. I mean, until you're like right up on it. So you don't have time to, you know, maneuver and get things lined up right. So it's a, whoop, yeah, I totally missed that one. I need to adjust that mirror. Okay, Roxana, I appreciate you joining me tonight. And, uh, yeah, you have a good night, and we will see you soon. Thanks for stopping in tonight. You take care now. Let's see, I need to get back in here and, yeah, I need to just, let me, let me, put the reverse lights back on so I can see. Let's do an F4 and get this. Oops, I need to do my auxiliaries too, just in case they show up better. Whoops, I missed the mirror right there. Man, you cannot see. All right, Maria, what we'll do, I mean, Roxana, sorry, Roxana Maria. Uh, we will see you soon. Let's see now if I can do it. No, it's still not showing him. All right, there's the small left. Let me make sure I'm moving it in the right direction. Yeah, I am. So here and then... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see if that's any better. Let's see how far off it was. Uh, hmm, that's a little better, but now I kind of need to move it down. I think that's the problem because I can't see the the back of the truck. That is the problem. So what is down? S is down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Now I can see the now I can see the tires on the truck. So that was part of the problem before. So when I go into reverse, there we go. Now I can line it up. That was the biggest problem I was having. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now I should be pretty close to being dead on. That still feels a little weird, but that should do it. Yep. Oh, that's right. I've got advanced trailer coupling turned off because of that other truck. But, oh well. Whatever. No big deal. Oops. All right. And here we go. Yeah, this little truck pulls very nicely. As it's quite the little road, though, if you look at the uh, GPS there. And it goes up and down hills, too, so. Guys, if you will, don't mind. Uh, make sure you uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video there. That helps out a lot. And as always, donations are welcome. I don't have my little uh, snowman out to collect the donations, but uh, the donations themselves do still work. There is a link to them in the description. Um, but yeah, every little every little bit would help. That's for sure. I'm going to try to get a little bit better equipment. Uh, to keep on growing the channel and just slowly getting better and better. That may be 
pay for a couple of DLCs that might come out in the future. <laughs> oh, it looks like it stopped raining. Thing's got a mean jake break to it too. Forgot I don't have the brights on. And yeah, I added quite a few brights just just for the heck of it on this truck. I don't think it looks too bad from the outside. up fast too it's funny how they manage to get a different feel for every single truck that you drive every one of them feels different to me and I know it's a little easier to do with the steering wheel and you know the the feedback settings can be different and all that but I noticed the difference too when I would play with just the uh, keyboard and mouse I mean, it, it, that's even that is crazy well, I like some of the games that I like on PS4, uh, like, you know, Gran Turismo, um, some of the racing games like the Crew 2 and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the cars can have a different feeling with just a controller also. back in here that has the uh, all the real company names and stuff uh, not, not not for the trailers but for the um, uh, for the, like the companies the stores that you see on the side of the road and stuff not really sure why my uh, track IR keeps jumping around sorry about that guys see that it's on cruise control I'm gonna go ahead and put it on cruise control that's one thing I wish they could figure out how to add is the uh, the little computer oops sorry the uh, the one that shows uh, you know what gear you're in and uh, if it's on cruise control and all that there's there's a couple of trucks out there that have it to where you can add it to the windshield top left do 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 so where do where are we headed grand canyon right Yep, Grand Canyon. To Bitumen. Does anybody know what the uh, console command is to change the day, uh, change the time today? Just because I know streaming with, you know, driving at night, it's not really the best. However, it looks like it's running pretty smooth. Of 
Whoops. Next time I'll uh, swap out that telemetry, <coughs> excuse me, telemetry for a uh, a different one, a different uh, skin on it. I don't love that one. It's the most simplistic one. I mean, it does work well, but there's a couple of other ones that are a little bit nicer to look at. <coughs> well, if you guys think I don't need it at all, I can always take it off. I just I put it on there because not many people do it, and I think it adds a little bit, little something to the stream. It's kind of cool too that you can, uh, uh, you, you essentially could open that on a tablet and do the same thing, and have it like sitting in front of your uh, computer to, to, and let that be your dashboard. sure if I need to be on this lane or not. Nope. Let's get back over. Darn it. Yeah, you can tell this truck is old. If you look down to the uh, the right over the blinker, um, it's uh, there's a, a throttle, a choke for the throttle, and you do not see those anymore. Long rind? Dead? Or do you mean long ride? not bad I did uh, in Euro truck simulator my longest trip that I've done uh, and that's just because I, I, I only had pro mods uh, but I did have all the DLCs my longest trip was I want to say it was Catania in Italy all the way up to one of those towns in Iceland and that that, that was a long trip I can't remember how long it took me but it was several hours, but it was enjoyable, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll have to get back on uh, Pro Mods and head back up to Iceland. Iceland is my absolute favorite spot to drive in. However, I do like the Baltic Sea uh, DLC that they just came out with. It, it's got a totally different feel to it.
now they'll just work on coming out with something like Pro Mods for American Truck. If Pro Mods put their mind to it and did an American Truck, it would, oh, it would be incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible. I think it's in development, but there's no telling how many times it's been, you know, put on hold and whatnot. To God in the house. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, for any of my normal subscribers, make sure you go check Togai, the Sim Guide, out for sure. Give him some love. Show him. Give him a few subscriptions. He's on his road to 1,000. He's not too far away. Every little subscription definitely helps. Nice recovery there, Mav. That was close. that guy now so let's see if I can get over uh nope whoop nope gotta stay in this lane it's funny I've noticed too with different trucks the AI reacts differently it's almost like there's some setting in the truck that tells if the AI to you know, either avoid it at all costs, or, uh, you know, it doesn't really pay attention that it's there. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's, I thought it's kind of neat that it changes depending on what truck you're in as well. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I can't believe how big that map is to God. I mean, that's, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. I mean, that right there is all the driving you would ever need to do. It's kind of cool to have a, a game or simulator that uh, you know that you'll... There's, unless, I mean, unless something miraculous happens, there's no way that you would ever be able to see all of it. That's kind of a neat feeling to have, I think, too. Just knowing that there's always going to be something out there that you could find that would be new. That's a key to a successful, successful game right there. Of course, it's add-ons, but still. I mean, if the game was no good, they wouldn't make that many add-ons for it, so... People would would lose interest pretty quick, but this game has definitely held the or uh, passed the test of time for sure. I got our first little hill to test out the truck. Yeah. Yeah, it will be on. It'll be coming at some point. They're actually a lot faster than I thought. You know, as far as um, you know, connecting everything and 
doing updates uh, once like you know when SCS comes out with a new update or something and then everybody has to go and you know fix their mods to work with it uh, people are usually right on the money I guess a lot of the modders uh, kind of know ahead of time and can plan to go ahead and make the changes or at least start working on the changes the DeLorean again. I'll probably take that out at some point, but I think it's funny that I'll, I'll forget about it completely, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's the DeLorean again. Yeah, you know what, exactly, and that's, I think I'm going to start, um, definitely, once I hear about something coming out, I'm going to start planning to, uh, you know, do a, do a live stream, uh, as well, uh, just showing some features of it, or trying it out, testing it out. Or like today, when I just came across that, you know, the, that Freightliner truck, I was like, yeah, let me, let me try that one. And it's not a bad little truck. We tried it earlier. It's uh, it, it's it's a decent little mod. There's a couple of things that they need to work on, like a, you know, there's something with the mirror, the mirrors that's a little off, and then the um, uh, the advanced trailer coupling doesn't work. Uh, but I mean, the model itself is is pretty spot on, and it drives, for the most part, it drives really well. All right, Lucas Pinero, Pinario, sorry if that's wrong. I'll just call you Lucas. How about that? Lucas, thanks for the subscription there, buddy. I appreciate it. Glad to have you aboard with me. And uh, don't forget to click that subscription, or uh, that subscription. You already clicked subscription. Sorry, the notification bell, so uh, you'll know next time I go live. All right, we got another one. Adrian, how's it going there, buddy? Oh, I know who you are. At least I think I do. Oh, uh, maybe not. All right. Another good stream, another good night. How am I doing on fuel? Oh, I'm fine on fuel. I keep forgetting I keep changing trucks so they have a, fuel, fuel, a full fuel tank when I'm leaving. Hey, uh, speaking of which, Toe, uh, do you know what the console command is to change it to daytime or to advanced time? I'm just kind of tired of driving in the dark. I mean, the sun's about to come up anyway. We only have to wait about another 45 minutes on the game time, but... I can look it up. It's no big deal. I don't need to know it right now. I just thought you might know off the top of your head. Yeah, because it's already, it's it's almost 4 a.m. on the game, so usually the sun starts coming up about 4.30 or 5. But I got a sneaky suspicion that it's just going to start coming up, and then we're going to be there to deliver the, 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 uh, the job. Do, 
do 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 yeah I'll turn them back on nice little windy road Yeah, I've got, uh, for my uh, single player, I don't have the, or at least on this game, I've got it turned on, uh, the sleep, the uh, fatigue simulation, I've got that turned on in the uh, European truck, but I, I never turned it on in this for some reason. I usually don't turn it on until I uh, get a few people uh, that are, you know, employees. And actually, I've got a few now, so I, I guess I could turn that back on. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to get lighter already. I can tell the difference. All right, I recognize this area, or at least I think I do. Looks familiar. Do 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 do. Looks like this one's way down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the Mack truck. I, I do like this truck a lot. I've driven it a lot before, before I was streaming. It's a good looking little truck. And actually it's bigger than it looks. I saw a, a, a video that actually had one on it. And it actually is a lot. I mean, from the out, you know, from here on the video game, it looks kind of tiny, uh, but it's really not. It's it's a pretty big truck in real uh, in real life. That looks like the sun's going to be coming up over there. Guys, if you don't mind while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and uh, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on the video. I would appreciate it. For anybody who has not yet, every little thumbs up helps. And not much going on in this truck on the headliner. Grand Canyon, or right at Grand Canyon Village, which I believe that road, if I keep going around here after I drop off, I think the little road that is in gray there, that should take us over to the Overlook, I think, for the Grand Canyon, if I remember correctly. And here's our destination. Bitumen. Did I hit the... Alright, what's this thing doing? Because I swear I did not... Yeah, I did too. Okay, I hit it. I didn't think I did, but I did. Oh, man, that is scraping the tires. Nope, I hit it again. Oh, come on. Really? Hey there, Chris Keller. There you are. I was uh, just mentioning your uh, mod that I looked at earlier today. Um, that you worked on the uh, International Eye... What is it? You can tell everybody what it is. It's the uh, International... Is it an I-900? 
I'll bring it up here in a minute once we, once I get this load parked. I'll, I'll bring it up so everybody can see what it looks like. Yeah, the 9400. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. All right, so actually, let me go back out here. I was going to rotate around a little bit. Let's get this thing parked in there. Do 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 do. Shoo do do be. I uh, yeah, most of them. You know, actually, at this point, once I park, okay, we're ready to unload. Let me go ahead and unload that. <clears throat> and we will bring it up and go into the uh, modification so everybody can see it there. All right, so continue. We're going to go to Truck Manager. All right, guys, so this is an actual mod that uh, Chris Keller has worked on uh, along with... Uh, somebody else I can't remember his name I apologize about that but uh, let's see here so it's the uh, the 9400i uh, international the eagle oh Dan was his name okay um, let's go in and take a look at it I really really like the modeling on it I will tell you that it, it's that the modeling is very cool on it um, and I really, I think my favorite part, believe it or not, are the beacons. Uh, I really do like the beacon lights. Um, so anyway, uh, access points. Uh, now on the front here, uh, obviously this is the bumper, and then there's a ton of different bumper configurations that you can do, uh, which each one of these you can attach an accessory to, an accessory slot to do all the different things, and they come with their own, uh, like lollipop bulbs. Um, they come with the chain which uh, actually I think the chains more for the back uh, but you know numbers all the different plates uh, so that's pretty cool uh, oversized like a, you put over here and size over here but where to go like oversized you could kind of do that uh, the yeah the Cummins ISX 15 is the best motor it comes with it so let me go into there. I think I'm not sure if that's what I had in it or not. No, or uh, yeah, <coughs> yeah. The ISX 15s. I went ahead and changed it to the 600 horsepower, just because. Yeah, uh, I try. I think I tried it the other way, and uh, which was fine. I just wanted to see what the difference would be. Um, as far as cabs, you got two different cabs. You got the uh, the high cab, and then you've got the lower, almost like the flat sleeper. Uh, cab on that. Uh, you've got uh, it only has the one chassis, but that's okay, no big deal. Uh, several, several different engines. Transmission wise, you've got several different Eaton Fuller, tr Eaton Fuller transmissions uh, and an Allison 4500R. Uh, uh, I went with, I just stuck with the 13 speed. Uh, let's see, interior wise, you've got the standard interior. Now, what's cool. Um, or am I thinking about the other one? No, I'm thinking about a different one. Um, but, but I do like the uh, I, I do like the steering wheel. Uh, it's pretty cool. And the let's see, let's go to the accessories on the outside. Okay, yeah, mid roof. Uh, it's got the mirrors, of course, that you can uh, the front and the front left and right mirrors. Um, the I had it on the bull bar, which actually I kind of like the bull bar. Oh, and then it looks like, okay, yeah. And then it just kind of shifted those over automatically. Now, there are a lot of little, uh, you got to kind of get in close here. Uh, there's some more accessory slots. There's one here, here, there's one here. Uh, and I, 
not really sure. Uh, now, Chris, do those change depending on which uh, button or which uh, spot you click? Or are those uh, just pretty much for whatever you have in the... Uh, what comes with it, of course, and then all your accessories that you can put on there yourself. Got your... Uh, the uh, bird for the front there. Your hood ornament. You got your... Uh, I like that it's called a swatter. Uh, the, uh, the guard there, the bug shield. Uh, of course, you can put your own, you know, all your own wheels on it. Oh, but I, I didn't notice these, the sprinter wheels. I'm not sure if that came with it or not. Or if that's from a different mod. I'm, actually, it looks really good on it, but maybe that did come with it. Okay, yeah. I must have just totally missed that before. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, you got to put the you got to put the the chrome ladies back there on the mud flaps. I mean, that's just a given. Um, and then you've got the uh, the side the side the side skirts, not side skirts. I'm sorry, the uh, the mud guards on the side. They're not mud guard fenders. Fenders is what they're actually called. Um, you got that the uh, the stock ones. Which are cool. Uh, the plastic ones, which go over both wheels, and then the uh, the custom one that kind of goes halfway, and that one's made completely out of chrome. <clears throat> Personally, I prefer the stock ones. Uh, you've got got your beacons here, which, like I said before, I do like the beacons. It's got two different types of beacons, so uh, it's got the square ones, which are really cool. Uh, let's see, and then you got your round ones which I really like those, personally. Um, the, you can change the exhaust to either in uh, right beside the cab uh, with the uh, heat shields or just the one behind. And now this will change too, depending on the cabin itself. If you do a taller cabin, the pipes go higher. Um, so I did notice that. Um, and then we've got, let's see. That's the pipe, case, and chain. That is the uh, headache rack right there, is the case and chain. Uh, you've got different, uh, they're called spoilers, but they're uh, the side skirts basically is what they are. You can take them completely off. You can have them go to there. You can have them, oh, I'm sorry, this is completely off. This is the ones that just cover the, the fuel tanks. Um, and then you've got the ones that go all the way down the length of it just depending on what look you're going for there. Um, let's see, what else? What am I missing here, Chris? Uh, the mirrors, you can change those out of chrome, which those are, I like those because they do have the uh, regular paint ones do not, um, well, they do, they're built into it, but uh, you can see the, the uh, what am I trying to say? The smaller window, the mirrors, the smaller mirrors with the uh, chromed out ones. Uh, you can add the windshield set. Now, Chris, I did. I wanted to ask you about this. Um, let me hop in and the accessories. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is on this, with the hanging items, uh, you click on it, but nothing seems to happen. So there was that that I was going to ask about, and then also... Also the... Um, CB, of course, uh, that that actually does work. That's that's a nice little touch. Uh, the other thing um, I've got, I should have the SISL Mega Pack, I believe. Let me let me check real quick. Well, let me yeah, let me just double check in the uh, the mod manager well let me verify uh, excuse me let me verify for sure that I do have it installed I know that I've downloaded it before uh, let's see I just do SISL up here 
yeah see i've got it and it's it, it, it is active um now i don't have the star wars ones installed but um i do have that one so all right so let's go back to the truck itself uh yes i want to exit mod manager let's go back in oh and chris the only other thing that um i would recommend if possible is on the actual uh so the the side skirts the uh um, what did you guys call them? Flares or fin? I can't remember what you call them. I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell you in a minute. But uh, it, I, we kind of need a place to be able to add, uh, like a few marker lights. I think would be would be more in line with some of the other ones. Now I don't know if that if that maybe if that's the way that the uh, actual truck is. I would understand that, of course. Um, but you know, just to be able to put a, like a strip of lights right here, just some of the marker lights for the side, because uh, I noticed when driving it at night, it just it's it just feels really dark um, when you look at it from the outside. So, but anyway, yeah, I mean, other than that though, it's pretty. I, I, I'm digging the reverse light sticking out from the side there. Uh, that's really cool. Um. I mean, it's a very, very cool mod. <clears throat> so you guys be sure to, uh, and I'll, well, once Chris gives me the go-ahead, if uh, you guys are interested in it, um, I'll uh, post a link to it in the description of this video if he will uh, allow me to, but that's going to be up to him. And then... Um, you got a few things you can do in here, like your your dash. You can take off your GPS. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, that's not a GPS. That's the uh, information computer. Uh, and then you can add your um, couple of dashboard dots. Except for I don't see where those go, unfortunately. I see them there, but those may not <laughs> show up for some reason. Yeah, and see, I've got that SISL Mega Pack, uh, and it's not showing any of these either. Uh, this is just the standard stuff. So, oh yeah, it's definitely. I mean, that's that's great. Just giving just giving you a couple pointers that uh, might other people might uh, look at and say, well, why don't it have that? Just out of the things that I've seen. And I'm no truck expert by any means, so don't take it that way. But yeah, I'm, I'm, the modeling on it is wonderful. I'm, I'm really impressed on the modeling. So, anyway, let's see. Let me... Where am I on the map here? I am in the Grand Canyon, I believe, right? Yeah. All right, so there's Grand Canyon Village. Uh, if it is daytime, I am going to try to get over here. Let's take a look at that and see if we can see out over the Grand Canyon. Uh-oh. Game crashed. That's not good. All right, well, that's not good. Let me see if I can crank it back up here. Hmm, I don't think I changed anything just then. No, I don't know, unless it, uh, unless I looked at something in the mod manager and just it changed something with something that I already had. I don't know. No, I, I don't think, uh, yeah, I know it didn't have anything to do with the uh, i900. And honestly, there's no telling. I've got so many mods in here, it could have, just looking at it, could have conflicted with something else. 
or even looking at the uh, profile might have conflicted with something else. Let me just try again and see if it'll launch directly. Okay, I think we're okay. Yep, we're okay. wondering if we are close enough to see it this may not even be the road guys to be honest I don't I don't really remember actually it's kind of looking like it yeah I'm running the red light there's a road barrier we could have picked up yeah this I thought okay this this is it So we will do a little sightseeing here at the Grand Canyon. Pull over on the, uh, out here on this little outcropping, the scenic spot. I'm going to give it just a minute or two, let the sun come up a little bit more. Oops. Need to put on the parking brake. Before I roll off into the canyon, that wouldn't be good. Nice rainy morning. Yeah, I'll get me a uh, screenshot once we get a little bit more light here. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I've really been impressed with uh, some of the key places that they put into this game. And uh, I mentioned it before, and I haven't passed it again yet, but uh, <clears throat> the uh, Bates Motel, I thought that was a nice touch. And I bet a lot of people don't even realize what that is. Yeah, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Dan, 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 dan. Ooh. Got a little bit of lightning going on. Oh, there it is. Get just a little bit of... Sorry guys, not trying to bore you here, but I'm, uh, I, just, I do want to get a good screenshot here of the once the sun comes up just a little bit more so we can see the Grand Canyon in the background instead of fog. Because honestly, I don't drive up this way very often. We just happen to get a good uh, a good spot here. Doctor, Doctor Ill, Doctor, Doctor, what's up, buddy? How you doing tonight? Glad you could join in on the stream with us. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Having a good stream, having a good night. I'm in there for a good, at least another half hour. I have to think about going to bed before too terribly long, though. I've got a busy week coming up, so I need to make sure I've rested up for that. Well, come on, son. And you know what, guys? We may not be able to get a good shot here. I may just have to go something else. All right, Doctor. Appreciate that subscription there, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every subscription helps. Also, don't forget to like the video if you don't mind. That would help me out tremendously.
All right, well, it was a good thought, but it doesn't look like anything's going to change, so let's go ahead and... Well, let's see. What do you think, Chris? Should I do a run in the uh, in the uh, 9400i? I'm going to leave that one up to you, whether you think so or not. I'm thinking either that or maybe... I gotta say, I'm not gonna do the run in this, but I'm I am impressed with this truck too. The uh, the Coronado, uh, really cool looking truck. Very cool. Bison Transport, Manitoba. Uh, I think I like about this one is that, well, especially on this paint job, um, you can actually change the uh the color of the writing as well so instead of having it bright white depending on the color of your truck if you had a black or if you had a uh, white truck you could change it to dark black you could change it to you know whatever shows up the best for it so this one's another cool one i, I did enjoy this one driving it earlier uh, the interior's fairly nice on it as well It's funny, they got a pack of Camel cigarettes there, and that's not removable. That's just <laughs> in the truck. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if Chris is still here or not. Chris, you still on with us, buddy? Uh, because if not, I'm going to pick something else here, and we're going to go with it. What do I want to drive? You know what? Let me see what I want to drive. Uh, let me... I'm thinking I might go back. <clears throat> see, what have I got? 62,000? Yeah, I still don't have a lot of money. Let's go ahead and drive our uh, 379. Now this is probably my favorite truck. I just, I mean, it just handles really well. It, it sounds great. It looks great. Just a mean looking truck all, 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 all around. So, uh, actually I don't want to start here in this city. So let's, uh, you know what, let's start up in Oregon. Let me go to Portland. Uh, we'll quick travel up there. We'll start up there. Just start from a different spot. I'm tired of driving out of here. <clears throat> I need to do some quick jobs and get uh, get some money up so I can modify a few things. Hey, it's funny, I, I've worked on my uh, Euro truck uh, simulator profile so much that I've got like millions of dollars in it and I have hardly anything on American truck anymore. <clears throat> All right, still loading a little bit there. There we go. All right, so there's the truck, guys. Yeah, I, I'm. I do love this truck too. You know what? I'm gonna get another screenshot of this truck. Make a good. Actually, let me grab it this way. It'll make a good uh, thumbnail for video. That one. Let's do one like that. There we go. Okay, so let's go get a job. <clears throat> uh, let's do something fun. Let's go to Freight Market. Freight Market usually has the jobs that are a little bit less common. <clears throat> Slightly different trailers and whatnot. Hey, you know what? Let's do some scrap cars. It's not that long of a trip, and I haven't I actually have not carried those yet. <clears throat> All right.
right, I'll have to reset my, uh, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, my track IR. Now, you know what, we gotta sit here for a minute. I forgot that beeping, I thought for a second there it was my verse beep, but no, it's not, it's the uh, air pressure gauge. We need to uh, let the engine idle. And uh, build up the air pressure. See that red, uh, the gauge on the right, right next to the fuel gauge? with the red light on, that's the one that uh, shows your air pressure and your brake lines. So if you've got the air, uh, air brakes simulation part turned on, then it's weird, my steering wheel is a little off center. Huh. Huh, I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's actually off center when I'm driving. Oh, come on. It's just about there. It's got to get out of that red, and then it'll be okay. <coughs> oh, you know what? Sorry, guys. Let me, um... I completely forgot that I've got a Dr. Pepper over here that I never opened. Okay, that did reset itself there. That is so weird why the steering wheel is crooked all of a sudden. I've never had an issue with the steering wheel. Oh, that's why. Now I see why. I had it turned like 180 degrees, or 360 degrees is why. Okay. Alright, so we are done there. Back her on up. All right, and away we go. Don't hit it, don't hit it. Phew. That was close. Oh, that guy's not going to let me out. One low, we we'll probably go to two low. And let's see if we can sneak out here. Oh, don't hit anybody. I didn't realize I was, I was that far out. One thing I've noticed in Oregon is they need to work on the stop signs. Because there is no stop sign there, and these people that are crossing will not stop either. So they need to work on that for sure. There's no red light either. Is he going to stop? Yeah, I guess he is. I think they meant to put a red light there, and they may have programmed it that way, but the actual light itself is not there. So that's a little strange. Freight market, so that means we gotta hit right here. Get the job. Did I not hit it? Oh, I just missed it somehow. There. Alright, so we are going for freight market. Doing. Let's see, what are we doing here? Bear with me, guys. I need to check my headset because I just heard a beep. Uh, da, 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 where's the... That's it. How are we doing on power? Oh, actually, no. We're, we're good on power. Still got two bars. So it's not that. That must have just been a interference beep. That happens every now and then. Okay. So here we go. We've got our cars. Let me see if... Uh, there's different kinds. I'm just going to use the default one. I uh, had a problem with my trailers jumping the other night, taking different trailers, so we're just going to take that one. All right, uh, where is it? Down here on the end, it looks like. Uh, 
let's see. Yeah, and there we got the crane putting the, the junk cars. If you look, the cars will go up into the uh, smasher there. And then they come out on the other side. Uh, they did something similar with the um, uh, the logging site where they put the they actually put the why is this shaking? Oh, it must be the ground is all rough. They uh, put so anyway. Sorry, lost my train of thought. They put something in on the um, uh. What am I trying to say? Jeez, guys, must be getting late. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind again. The uh, uh, the wood uh, processing sawmill. Jeez, uh, where you can see the logs go into the uh, the deep arker and all that kind of stuff. Denman Games, how's it going, buddy? Glad you could join tonight. You doing all right tonight? Uh, you know what, with this one, I need to turn my trailer, uh, advanced trailer coupling back on, because I know it works on this truck. Uh, where's that? Gameplay. Do -do -do -do. Advanced trailer coupling. Check a Rooney. And drive. Alright. So we have got our load of junk cars kind of makes you feel bad you're pulling them behind such a nice truck but oh well whoops still got it in reverse all right yeah the ground is rough here because my steering wheel is jumping all over the place definitely definitely a rough little patch there all right uh, we're looking over here we're good And here, I always worry about this intersection because there is no stop sign, there is no red light, nothing. Gear man, fourth low. I'll drop it down to second low. All right, I think they're gonna let me go. Yep. side Salem and this is just a little short hop this is not a, yeah, a job of any length really I just wanted to carry this one because I haven't actually uh, carried this load before doctor excellent gameplay great commentary cool stream keep up the hard work thank you there doctor I appreciate it yeah, I, uh, in my normal job, I talk for a living anyway, so I figured why not do something fun and, you know, combine it with gaming. And what better way than to stream? So, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Do, 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 camp. Gotta have the minions hanging from the mirror. Or at least one. I've, I've, I've been, I've had two on there for a while. Might get back to hanging some of the Star Wars stuff from the mirror. Like the Millennium Falcon. X-Wing, TIE Fighter, all that stuff. Pretty cool. All right, 
right, what are we going? Oh, you know what? I need to bring this one up. So, oops. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. I am trying to get the map up on the right. That one's what I want. Yeah, we'll hold it 60. There we go. Whoops. Yeah, the way I've got my uh, settings set up, the uh, the D-pad on the steering wheel is actually the up is for the windshield wipers. So I must have accidentally hit that when I was changing uh, lanes somehow. And it looks like we're getting off at this exit, so... Yep, whoops. A little too sharp of a turn. Do 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 do. Now, I think what we'll do is once we get here and drop this load off, I'll see if this company has any jobs and then we'll just kind of go that way instead of just picking a random job we'll do it like uh, some truck drivers really do and you know they hop from company to company they'll find one or two jobs and then they'll just pick up freight and haul it from whatever company they drop off at kind of do a road trip that way And there's the DeLorean. Again. Yeah, I've seen it more tonight than I've seen it um, on some of these streams. I might have to take that out just because of that. It just, I mean, after a while, it does get a little silly. But it's kind of cool the first time you see it. one of my favorite movies of all time that's for sure back to the future the first one second one's okay and i really do like the third one also but the first one i mean that's the classic you can't beat that that was a good time for movies that was about the same time that you know indiana jones came out indiana jones and the, the raiders of the lost ark How about you guys? Why don't you guys uh, give me some names of some of your favorite movies from that time frame? Help me remember some of them, if nothing else. There was, let's see, Weird Science. That was another one that was pretty funny. Uh, Tom Hanks and Bachelor Party. <laughs> am I in the wrong lane here? Yeah, I think I am. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Ferris Bueller's Day Off, of course. That's a good one. Um, God, what else? Oh, oh, um, well, E.T., of course. That was a classic. Rambo, there you go. First Blood. Uh, uh, d d d along those same lines, um, Predator. That was about the time Predator came out. The first one. And uh, actually, the second one's not bad either. It's not as good as the first one, just because the first one is, but you know, the original, of course. Oh, Aliens. Uh, Alien had been out for a while, but Aliens, the second one best one in the series. Total Recall, there you go. That's a good one. 
Good job there, doctor. Think of a couple more that I'm just, I mean, I know they're there and I'm just missing them. I probably even own them. That's what I used to do before, um, you know, before you could stream stuff online. Which actually, if you guys think about it, streaming has not been available for that long in the, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So I remember having to go to Blockbuster Video and written videos to watch. Um, we back when my wife and I were dating we used to do that and stay up all night and watch movies we just go we get like six movies and you just stay up and watch them all night long on the weekends it was a lot of fun some of them were awesome some of them just really sucked but <laughs> now you can just I mean you can do pay-per-view which I mean you could do pay-per-view then but uh, honestly there's no movie out there that I absolutely have to see right now I'll just wait till it comes out on either I mean I could rent it you know have it Netflix to me or um, luckily the uh, the prices of what you call it uh, the um, pay-per-view movies have gone down a lot in the past few years you can get them now for a couple of dollars each or up to, you know, like four ninety five for a 24-hour period or something like that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I need to back it in this way, looks like. Oh, what was that other one that was kind of similar to, um, well, a little bit similar to Raiders of the Lost Ark? Uh, oh, Romancing the Stone. That was it. With Danny DeVito and uh, uh, Michael Douglas. Oh, Crocodile Dundee. Forgot about that, too. I oh, appreciate there, Doc. The, doctor. Here, let me let me give you a little visual to go along with it there too. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I can't ask for much more from all the viewers today. They have really gone above and beyond. Um, I mean, I've pretty much today I have pretty much doubled my subscribers. So that is, I could not have asked for anything more than that. But yeah, I mean, every like helps as well. Because um, what that does, or one of the things that it does, is it helps people find my streams. The more likes you get, the more apt or more likely you are to be shown higher up in the listing when you search for something. So like if somebody searches for American Truck Simulator, if I have a lot of likes on my videos, chances are mine is going to be higher up than some of the other ones so it's just you know it's it's a combination of a lot of different things not just likes but all right let's see if we can get this parked up in here this one off all right now this time I want to see what kind of job I can grab from here um, yeah current company job offers that's a nice feature that they added I'm glad they did that oh boy we got some interesting stuff here we've got uh, well, that's a long one that goes to, where's that going? Lakeview, Oregon, or the Dailies, or Dallies. Hmm, not really sure which one I wanna take. I think I've already, yeah, I've kinda explored, let me, well, let me look at the map. Let me, let me bring up the actual map and see how much I have or have not. Yeah, see, I've gotten, 
pretty much all this. Oops. Somehow I... Sorry. Bear with me, guys. Somehow I... Somehow turned off... Not turned off, but I couldn't see the chat there for a minute. All right. So, yeah, I've got... Uh, I need to get something over into Pendleton or Ontario, and then I could go up this way, but... Let's see if we got anything in Freight Market. Uh, Pendleton. Now these bend. There's Coos Bay. Actually, you know what? I might want to go there. I don't think I've dropped off anything in the actual woods yet. Let's see. Yeah, Coos Bay. I haven't explored any of this. So, yeah, that'll be a good one. Let's do that one. Uh, job market, freight market, Coos Bay. From here. Yeah, we can take the lift truck chassis. Oh yeah, I won't have a problem hauling up. Alright guys, if you will, bear with me. Um, I'm going to take a little restroom break just for a couple of minutes. Uh, just stay with me. Stick in there. I will be back. Give me, give me like four or five minutes and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Let me get the camera back up. There we go. All right. Appreciate you waiting on me there. Looks like we eh, we lost a couple, but that's all right. No problem. 
All right, so yeah, we've already got our job in the GPS, so let's head on over there and get it. And I think we're going to be dropping off in one of the uh, areas that they're chopping down all the trees, if I, if I remember what it looks like. Looks like we're in avalanche steel right now. Oops. I do love this truck. It's so customizable. <laughs> That's a neat little area. A lot of places they could put jobs in here for sure. We still got with me there. We got, uh, looks like, uh, well, I can't really tell. Is Doc, Doctor, are you still there? Whoa. Just about missed that. I would have smacked right into that if, I'd, if I hadn't have turned. That would have been very bad. Is it here? No, it's down here. Oh, I hope it's not inside this steel building. I've had to pick one up from there before. It's kind of difficult to get in there and get it lined up right. All right, well, we'll find out here in a minute. I've got to stop at the manhole cover. All right, there. All right, and we are doing a load of logs, I think. No, we're doing this. That's right, lift truck chassis. And where is it exactly? Uh, it must be around the corner here because I'm not seeing it. And would it be better if I pulled through there? Or where exactly is it? I'm not even seeing it. It's got to be right there. Actually, no, it's not. Where in the world is it? I guess it's behind the building. I've never actually picked one up from behind this building. Because it's not inside the building. Nope. I guess it has to be. Okay, here it is. All right. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to back in. Okay, yeah, i got to back around. So I am going to have to turn around here. see what I can back into, see if I can just back in here and turn around.
I might be a little, little bit off. Let's see how close I am. Actually, got it first try. That's pretty good. Dead on. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, neutral. One low. Oops, I forgot this is articulated too. So, oh, not articulated enough. I'm gonna have to take that a little bit wider. Make sure I clear it this time. No, don't hit the pallets. I think that should clear it. Ooh, that's going to be close. No, nope, I'm still hitting it. Come on. I mean, I'm right here. Well, there's not much more I can do about that. I could turn on the differentials or lock of them, but I'm not going to. I'm still moving. This is quite the trailer to get out of here. I've got a little bit more leeway now. Yeah. That's a that's a big lift truck. All right. Get her underway. <laughs> Anybody coming? Uh, not really. Should be able to get out. Don't hit the sign, dude. That was close. Almost hit it. Well, this will be interesting because it looks like all the uh, the roads that we're going to be hitting are very twisty. So this may be quite a challenge. Almost going to be like one of those. Uh, what do they call them? Not the uh, special transport missions. That's one of my favorite props, too, right there. That old broken down truck. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, guys. Whoa, that's even moving the truck. sound. That is just an awesome sound.
Yeah, you can really customize the in, the interior of this truck too, like even the gauge, the things that are like the, the trim around the cages, the actual backdrop to the dash, uh, the shifter, you can even change the shifter if you want to. This is really a heavy load. I'm, you can tell that the truck is really not pulling as fast as it was pulling on the other stuff. Taking a while to get up to speed. All right, at least we have a proper stop sign here. All right, let's get down in the second low, at least maybe one low. Let's do one low. <clears throat> Guys, I do apologize if you guys are by chance chatting. It looks like the chat stopped right before I uh, left and took a little break. I haven't seen it update since. Hopefully it's not frozen. Let me just make absolutely sure it's not frozen. Just bear with me a second here. Okay. Highway 20. Just a cruise no long on a Sunday evening. Oh yeah, now we're in Oregon. You can definitely see all the trees. Oh look at there, the telephone poles. I didn't really notice those before. Or power poles. I still call them telephone poles. That's just what they were back in the day. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to drop this back off in the um, in the shop, or not drop it off, but get it repaired in the shop. My tires are starting to turn a little red. That's usually the first sign that you've got a little bit of wear and tear going on. Ooh, look at all those logs. I guess we're taking this to a job site. I'm sorry, one more little bitty thing. This, I think the audio for the game is just a smidge high. Let me turn it down just a touch. Some trucks are louder than others, so there, that should be a little bit better. Yeah, the uh, engine sound on this one has a, a resonating tone to it that just really kind of overpowers everything else.
but then again, I can't hear it on you on you guys' side. So if it's too low, let me know. If it's too high, let me know. I'll adjust it as need be. Actually, we might, oh, I don't know. Depends on what this fuel stop looks like. If it's hard to get in and out of, I may not stop, but if it's an easy one, I might try to get fuel. I'm getting kind of low. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get in there. Nope, not even gonna try it. Wish I'd have noticed that before we picked up the job. I had plenty of opportunities to get more. Mm -hmm. And we're clear that way. And are we clear? Yeah, we're clear enough. This guy will probably. Yeah, he'll slow down. speeding through town with this big old thing. I mean, it almost looks like a tank. It's got that color to it. That olive drab, or I think that's what it's called. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen the hamburger spin before. No, I know I haven't. Huh. That's kind of neat. I'm always seeing something that I've never seen before in this game. That's what makes it so fun to play. You're just constantly seeing new stuff. Alright, let's get over here. Big bridge here. Yeah, we are in unexplored territory, that is for sure. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can grab a screenshot of that real quick. As I run into somebody else. Oop. Almost. Coast Aquarium. Next right. Oh. Right next to the Walbert. Or hey, it might be inside the Walbert, who knows? <clears throat> Sorry about that head movement there, guys. Ugh. Now that one's saying to the left, the other one said to the right. Huh. That's just a mistake. Man, this thing is heavy. It's all I can do to get above 40. No, 
we got a school bus pulling out. Oh, don't pull out right in front of me. Oh, not cool, school bus. There's no way they would have done Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. Huh. Umbrellas out there on the beach. Yeah, this is all. I have not seen any of this. This is neat. Yes, guys, we got some serious twisty roads coming up. This will be interesting. We are going to finish this job here, and I think I'm going to have to call that that a stream for tonight. We are getting close to our destination. We've got about an hour and 41 minutes, so that's actually about, eh, what is that, about two, six, about five or six minutes real time. Oh, we've got a little rain coming down. So I appreciate everybody joining me tonight, as always. Oh, wow. This is cool. I have not seen any of this. This kind of reminds me of uh, that area uh, with A1A, or not A1A, sorry. Um, I can't remember the highway number now, but uh, where the big Sur landslide was, where it would go right up against the, uh, the coastline there. Oh, wow. Curvy, curvy roads. Rest stop up here too. Washburn State Park, rest area next right. I tell you, I'm so much happier with my new computer because it actually you can run it at the graphic set graphic settings high enough to be able to read the signs before you get to them. <laughs> That's always a plus. Man, it's really starting to come down now. Now, we'll be glad when they implement the uh, rain change. Actually, looks like they already have implemented the rain change. It's a little bit different on this. Um, before, well, actually, I can't really tell. It's kind of hard to tell on this one. Uh, in Euro Truck, though, they've implemented a change to the rain, and it looks quite a bit different. I might not have my settings high enough on this one. I can't really tell what's going on. Basically, it just flows down the window different. No, they haven't changed it on this one yet. Because uh, what happens, too, with the windshield wipers, the windshield wipers, you can see it actually push the rain out of the way. And it makes a uh, a um, like a a wave almost 
over to like the end of the windshield wiper. It's hard to explain what I'm trying to say, but you know, like on a real windshield wiper, you know, when it pushes the water, it piles it up over to one side. That's kind of what it does uh, with the improved rain. Like right now, all it does is just kind of clear the windshield when it hits it. It doesn't actually push the water around. Do 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 do. Just hang in there with me, guys. We are almost there. as my beacons. I should have had them on the entire time. I completely forgot about them. Alright. Slow it down a little bit. And we are pulling into Coos Bay. Oh, got a train. There it comes. Try to get a couple of neat screenshots when I can. With this rain, it's only 7, well, it's 7 p.m. too. That's usually what time it actually really starts to get dark. But it looks like we're driving through town first and then on to the drop-off point. Well, this is a good little truck. I'm glad I decided to take this truck because this is uh, areas that I have not seen before. So this is pretty awesome. And here's another one of those spots where they, okay, they do have a stop sign. And is this one way or am I driving on the wrong side of the road? I might be driving on the wrong side of the road. No, it's okay, it's, it's two lane. Guys, as we're coming up on our final drop-off point for tonight, um, if you don't mind, if you have not subscribed yet, at least consider subscribing if you've enjoyed the stream tonight. That would help me out tremendously. Also, like the video if you don't mind. Um, every like helps, and definitely every subscription helps. Oh, what is this? Is that just? Oh, it's just a mur a mural. That actually looked like something in 3D for a second there. Anyway, 
We are coming down to it. Yeah, I gotta get up early in the, well, not early early, but early enough. So I need to definitely get my beauty re beauty sleep, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't hit the... Alright, I cleared it. Barely. Oh, wow, I can't get off... Get over how horrible the weather is right here. Man, that is a... Big, big... Trailer. And... Where are they expecting me to put this? Okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... Looks like I've got to kind of weasel my way over this way. And then... It, oh, come on, really? I've got to get it in here? Nope, oh, that's going to hit. Yep. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty, guys. I seriously think I'm going to have a problem getting it in here. Uh, actually, maybe not. Nah, I got it. I cleared it. Oh, then I got to get it way over here. right on the edge of something here. I'm not... What am I hitting? Come on. Well, they definitely are not making this one easy. And we made it. Whoops. I went just a little bit too far. Let me back it up. Right there. All right. We are here. Whoops. Wrong view. That's what I meant to do. All right. Well, let's drop this load. And we have completed the journey, finally. All right. That wasn't too bad. That was only 211 miles. I just wanted to go that way because uh, that was an area of road that I had not yet explored. It turned out pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I am, unfortunately, uh, just, I know we just got a couple more viewers in here, and I do apologize. Whoa, what is, what's going on with that? Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was odd. The trailer just took off and flew up in the air for no reason. <laughs> How bizarre was that? Um, wow, lost my train of thought there. Anyway, I know we just got a couple of new viewers in. I apologize, but uh, I'm going to have to call it a night. I've been streaming for three hours now. So um, that is the end of the stream. I do apologize for all you guys who just joined, but... Uh, you know, if you, what you could do is you could go ahead and subscribe and hit that alert button so you'll be alerted next time I am streaming. Um, also, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on the video. That would help me out quite a bit. And uh, once again, thank you to everyone who subscribed tonight. That's uh, just in incredible. I could not have asked for a better, better night of streaming. Um, so I do appreciate it, each and every one of you. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye out. I'm going to try to be on tomorrow night. I don't know for sure if I can be. Um, I've got a lot going on at work this week, so we'll just have to see how it goes. But, uh, you know, if I, if I don't do it tomorrow night, th this week's going to be kind of touchy. So just uh, keep an eye out for your alerts, and uh, that'll let you know. So, anyway, until then, 
Thank you very much. DT Fang signing off, and we will see you next time.